Welcome back once again. Today we will explore Google Gemini inside an Android application using the Android Studio. Look at how to set up the Google Gemini API and integrate it into an Android app. But before we do so, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get straight into it. Before we get started, please make sure that you've got You've got an Android Studio, the latest version of Android Studio installed on your system. If you've done so, go ahead and open it and, and, and open the new project dialog here. Yeah? So we select the phones and tablets, okay? So as we can see here now, we, we've, we've got a bunch of templates that we can use to create whatever Android application that we're looking to create. But if you look at it, if you look here, as you can see it, We've got Gemini API starter, which is which is on a preview right now. Okay. But nonetheless, let's have a look at it. Okay. So let's go ahead and select the Gemini API starter project and then click on next. So here you can configure your project details. Yeah, like giving your project name and whatnot. So if we if you go down, you see the minimum SDK. Please make sure that you've got at least if you have an API 35, because anything below that won't, won't work. Okay. So make sure you select the API 35 or the or the vanilla ice cream or Android 15, whatever whatever you want to call it. And then the build configuration language, leave it as Kotlin DSL. Okay. And then obviously you can give your project, you can give it a name, but we're not looking too much into that. So once we're done with this bit, let's click on the next. So here, as you can see here now, it's actually re uh, requesting for an, our API key. Yeah. So you can get that by just clicking on this generate API with Google Studio. So this will actually take us to Google. So here, as you can see here now, we've got a bunch of stuff that we can, can do. So to, to, to generate our API key, we have to select this bit here. We have to select get API key. So, so once we once we we click on the get API key, this is what we get. So obviously you, you got to consent to the to the terms and whatnot, yeah. So once once you click once you finish, click the accept and follow the on screen on screen uh, details or on on screen instructions. Yeah? I'm going I'm not going to go from here since I don't want you I don't want you guys to have a look at the API my API key, okay. So I'll pause the video, generate my API. You can do the same. Okay, so once you've, we finish generating our API key, make sure we paste it here and then click on the finish. So once we, do, I mean, I'll do that after because I don't want to do my API key while I'm recording, okay? So make sure once you finish generating your API key, post it here and then you click on finish yeah so this will actually create a new project for us okay so I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll pause the video and then continue from when the project is created okay so this is what actually we get once the project is created okay so as we can see here now it's not it's not very difficult yeah so let's have a look quickly what we've got so we've got the areas which contains um, our uh, some files here, yeah, like um, the drawables, the values, and the, our XML. So up inside our XML, we've got we've got some XML files. We're not looking too much into that, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, so let's have a look at what's inside the Java. So basically, we've got our build. Yeah, so there's nothing really much that I can show you here for now. Okay, so as you can see here now, we have we have this uh, main activity created for us automatically. So first, 
let's let's try to run it to see what actually happens but first we need to once once this creates here you got to make sure that um the, the configuration and everything is okay yeah so once you've checked for the once you've checked the configuration so we can click on the run application so let's go ahead and click on run application and let's see what actually happens so the build has actually started it might take it will take a while so let's just wait uh, for a while and see what actually happens so as you can see here now we have the application running inside the emulator so it's, it's a very simple sample that we get here obviously you can build further on it yeah using your own stuff so I, if we look at it here, it's a, it's a bacon with Gemini. So if this is the prompt here. Provide a recipe for the, for the baked tools in the image. Okay, so once we click on go, let's see what actually happens. So the Gemini 1.0 Pro Vision, Pro Vision or whatever has been dip, uh, duplicated on July 2024. Consider consider switching to a different model. For example, the Gemini 1.5. So as you can see here now, um, there is a version issue that obviously that needs to be sorted out. But from what from what from what we are looking at, yeah, already created it and actually gotten started. So. It's up to you to obviously to update uh, the components needed to actually get yourself started properly. But obviously, this video was to get you started. So, I guess in the near future, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to create another one, another video, and then we're actually going to build it from scratch. But that video, obviously, I'm going to. I'm going to use that i'm going to build it from the visual studio okay so as we can see here now it's not very difficult to get us started so i hope this video helped you to get started in terms of using the google gemini okay once again if you haven't subscribed to the channel please make sure you do because i've got lots of videos coming up and i hope you have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are peace